How's it going everybody? Please forgive our messy basement. Uh, before COVID hit, we were planning on finishing our basement this year, but uh, the price of building materials definitely made that uh, not plausible. So anyway, this morning I came downstairs and was walking across our rug here and noticed it was just soggy and disgustingly wet. And I thought to myself, that's not right. Something's wrong here. So I looked upgrade from our rug and notice there was a puddle under our HVAC unit. Now it is the middle of summer here in Wisconsin. Uh, it's been in the 90s so we've had our AC running non-stop. So I traced the water dripping up the side of the unit. Now HVAC units will have condensation drainage pipes basically that'll run to your floor drain uh, if you're in, in a in-ground basement. In some cases if you're on grade I think they'll just pipe it right outside your house. Or again, I guess, I suppose you could have a floor drain. But I popped one of the hoses off, felt inside the hose and realized it was dry. Uh, I've got two hoses actually that co converge into one and go to our floor drain in the basement. So I popped the other hose off and it too was dry. So common sense would tell me, hmm, there's water all over the floor below the unit. The pipes that are supposed to be draining that condensation away from the unit are dry. We probably have a clog somewhere. So I came over to the side of the unit here and saw a lot of water right here sitting on top of this. And actually when the unit was running, I could see it blowing as air was shooting up, up through the system from the fan. I could see water spurting out the side here and running down. So I knew water was collecting in here. So I took off these side panels. Well, I shut the unit off first, right there, so I wouldn't get electrocuted. I popped these side panels off and inside here are your evaporator coils for your AC unit. Let's see if I can get a better shot in here. Sorry, these are some uh, tight quarters I'm working with. But these are the evaporator coils and it's not uncommon for these to form condensation on the outside. Sometimes they'll even, even freeze up and then that condensation, well, the ice will melt. And there's a pan down here, right here all around the base of this that collects that condensation and as I mentioned will pipe it out. Can you see the glare on the water there? It is to the brim with water in this pan and actually there's a bunch of debris inside here too. I've never had this off, I've never cleaned it out. Um, we have had I think since we lived here one technician come out and look at everything. I don't know if that's something that they look at or clean but either way, I'm pretty sure we have a clog somewhere up here based on all the debris that's in here. So what I'm going to do is take my shop vac and clean all the water and all of the debris out of this pan. And then I think I'm going to have to figure out a way to test our outlets there to make sure that they're unclogged uh, and prevent this from overflowing and leaking all over the basement again. Alright, I plugged in our... Uh dehumidifier to try and <laughs> take some of the moisture out of here. It said it was 70% humidity down here in the basement, which makes sense because our rug is completely soaked in water. So I am going to swap this out quickly with uh, our shop vac. This is a 5 horsepower shop vac. I'm not sure if it's going to have enough juice to suck this water and debris out of here, but we're going to give it a shot. If it doesn't, I've got a bigger one up in the garage I can bring down here. Zero suction. All right, problem solved. We had a clog in our in our pipe here. Uh, I ran it under the sink, the basement sink here, and was able to free the clog in the process. The pipe peed all over me, um, so I got some nice disgusting dirt and whatnot that was clogged in here all over me. But uh, this is clear, so let's see if we can suck this water out now. Alright, that worked really well. I got this side of the unit free of water. So this tray right here is completely empty and I sucked up all the debris that was in it. I'm guessing if I stick my finger behind here I should be able to feel that uh, outlet right there. Yep. And holy cow, as a matter of fact, there is like a pebble or something right in there. So let me see if I can... I'm going to pop this hose off. See if I can push whatever's in there either back in, into the tray, or out this way. Alright, so we've got a little plastic elbow here that our 
uh, drain pipe ties into. I don't have an air compressor down here. My air compressor is too big to bring down here. I do have a hose uh, that I can connect to the sink. I could run water through it, but I'm afraid to just it just make a big mess. So I've actually got. You could use a coat hanger too, but this is uh, just some wire. This is actually what they tie up uh, hardware cloth with. When you buy the hardware cloth in big rolls, they'll have it wrapped in this wire. I've hung on to the wire because I use it for little projects here and there. You know, my wife might call me a hoarder. I know my mom calls my dad a hoarder, hanging on to a bunch of junk like we're from the Depression era, but uh, hey, this stuff comes in handy. You never know when you're going to need it. So I'm going to fish this little wire through that elbow and push out whatever's in there. Well, you win this one, Mom. This thing's not helping me like I thought it might, but I can unscrew the elbow. We'll just unscrew the elbow and, and clean it out. Yep, looks like there's little pieces of, I don't know, wood? This looks like wood chips. Maybe like OSB particles that somehow got in here? I don't know. But I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go clean it in the sink and uh, reinstall it. And the same, I, I gotta find out where that other drain ties into before I start taking things apart. Okay, I've got our elbow cleaned out. I am going to reinstall the elbow now. Didn't look like they had any Teflon tape or pipe dope or anything on it. It was just screwed into the fit in here, which I'm sure is fine. It's not like it's under pressure or anything. So we'll just screw this back in, make sure it's pointed slightly downward to keep the flow coming out of the unit. Okay, so that one, in theory, should be unclogged. Unless there's a clog somewhere in the line, a good way to test that would be to hook up the hose to it, like I mentioned. But I just I don't want to I don't want to mess with that right now. So uh, I'm gonna clean out the other side, and uh, we're gonna turn the unit back on, let it run uh, tomorrow morning. I'll, I'll let it run all night. I'll come down here tomorrow morning and see if we still have uh, any water leaking out. All right. Upon closer inspection, the second condensation drain pipe actually goes to the furnace side of things, which explains why that one was dry because we're obviously not running our furnace in the middle of summer. Um, so I'll show you what I got here. So out the back side of the unit here is where the pipe drains. The pipe actually comes through here and ties into this black, right here, ties into this black panel looking thing. It says on here that's the BTU cap restrictor or something or other. Anyway, this is all related to the heating side of things. Um, this right here actually is where the exhaust gets, uh, there's a little fan here that pushes the exhaust up this pipe, which runs it up and out of the house. The pipe right alongside it is actually the uh, fresh air coming into the unit to help ignite the burner. So I don't need to worry about this pipe not draining because it's technically not supposed to be draining right now. I'm sure there's nothing wrong with it. So I'm going to cover all this back up. Let's get the light over here, cover up this top portion and uh, let it run all night and we'll see if this uh, backs up again. Mrs. Greenacre is not gonna be happy that I filmed in our basement again. Admittedly, it is uh, rather embarrassing being down there. It's just uh, an, an area of the property that doesn't get much attention, which I'm sure is the case for, for most folks. You know, I, I had this problem come up and I could have easily got really upset about it. I could have right away said, screw it, I don't want to deal with it, and called up a HVAC guy to come out and look at it and spent a couple hundred dollars easy, I'm sure, just to have him pop the cover off and see that the drain is clogged. clogged. Um, maybe he'd be a nice enough guy to do it for free, but I highly doubt it. Just having him out here, I mean, I'm sure he's not gonna walk away without a hundred bucks in his pocket. So. Why not take the opportunity to do a little research, um, understand a system in your home a little bit better. Should this ever occur again, I know exactly what to do now. It just makes you an all around better person, having an understanding of uh, what's going on around you, how things work. I try not to let things that go wrong like that negatively affect me. I, I try to look at it as, as a positive, and it was a positive. I saved us money, I learned something new. Uh, fingers crossed I fixed the problem. We'll find out tomorrow. But yeah, I thought I'd film it and uh, share share my findings with everybody in case uh, you encounter the same situation. And uh, if you are not encountering this situation and are just watching this video because you're a, a loyal viewer to our channel, thank you very much. Uh, maybe I've inspired you to take on your own project, uh, your own equipment failure, kind of do some research on your own and, and see what's wrong with it. 
uh, understand the system better, like I said. You're never too, too old to learn. Just always learn something new every single day and you're only gonna be a better person because of it. All right, it's the next morning and I don't see any water under the units. A little bit of residual water that is uh, drying up. The true test would be to take this cover off again and check that drain pan, make sure it's, it's empty. But I don't have time to do that right now, so I'm just gonna pop off this uh, hose and see if it's wet inside. Well, I didn't feel any moisture inside of the tube here, so I'm gonna just take this guy back out rather than taking off the side panel. You know what? There is moisture coming out of it right now a little bit as I spin it. Oh, there's a bunch of moisture pouring out. But our elbow is is empty. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that this is probably normal, a normal amount of collection in there. It probably has to fill up to a certain amount until it'll actually drain out. Um, I'll just keep an eye on, on this over the next a uh, few days and make sure we don't have uh, the situation we had before, but I am confident that I likely fixed the problem. So, I think I'd call that a successful repair. Thanks for watching everybody, hope you learned something. Remember, don't be afraid to tackle uh, repairs or projects on your own. Just do your research and uh, learn something new. Take care everyone.